everybody, Princess the Bear here. We're back at Universal because Mardi Gras. Exactly. So it's time to go get all the plant-based foods to show to you guys. Be sure to save all of the animals and subscribe. You heard the girl. Beautiful little vegan patty thingies. Patty thingies. With the dippy thingy. It's very hot. Cheers to Puerto Rico. May you have power all the time. Ooh, that's really good. Crunchy, flavorful. The sauce is amazing. It's all really, really, really good. It's not too like um, punchy, but not too soft. Just a good amount of flavor, a nice little grease to it. It might fly away though. I'll give it four and a half out of five Puerto Rican flags. It's really good, and I kind of want to share it with Bear. But I feel like I'm gonna come back for more later. Greasy flat bean things. But with dip, we like dips. Definitely uh, the deepest of the deep fried. Like bottom of the ocean deep fried. We like a vegan dip though. Yep. Cheers to our Puerto Rican family. That's actually quite good though. Greasy. Very greasy. And I have no idea what it tastes like. It tastes like fried something. But it's an enjoyable fried chicken. It's not bad. Two and a half out of five plus. I don't know if I get it again now. I can see what the princesses want to share. But I've taken my bear cut. Modified elote corn. All you have to do is get it without cheese and it's vegan. This jalapeno mayo is vegan. It's actually not as seasoned as I thought it was going to be. And I don't really like it as much as I thought I was going to. I think I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5 corns. It doesn't make me corny. At all. This is a family channel, man. Not corny. Family channel. Not corny. We've gotten an elote corn served to us in many ways at the theme parks in Orlando. Uh, usually it's an absolute mess piled on to make it look fancy for Instagram or whatever else. And while looking at them sort of like make this is sort of like stock wrapped up and left on it, I was kind of a hater. But now that I realize it makes the perfect handle, I really can't say a whole bunch. All I could say is we really need more even distribution of the seasoning because it's like bare bones on one side and then of the ancestors on the other side. Either way. Well, this is Montevideo, you're missing the cheese. You're missing some of the bite. The chili and the jalapeno mayo go a long way, but like the, well, the chili on top of the, the jalapeno mayo sort of like overrides everything else. You can barely taste the mayo. There's just so much chili powder on it. But I'd still eat it. Forget it, bye, Paul. Shout out to Shelby at the um, Universal Orlando Vegans who made this her holy grail item. Vegan churros. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I had a churro because I'm vegan. Oh my God. Mm. This is like Jack in the Box churro, but even better. And I love me some Jack in the Box churro. This is a five out of five. I gotta try it with the sauces now. I think this is the coconut sauce. Doesn't taste like coconut, I like that. I'm gonna give that a four out of five churros. And then the chocolate sauce. 
I feel like this is where it's at. Oh, I don't like that. It's like Hershey's syrup, like they put on the sweet potato fries for Halloween Horror Nights. That's like a two out of five. I just eat the churros by themselves and I don't want to share. Churros are a five out of five, they're a princessity's item. Thank you, Shelby, for making this a thing. I'm just gonna eat them. I'm surprised that Universal passed up the opportunity to call these churro fries. I'm sure they wanted to, somewhere deep down. I'm still sort of getting on the churro train. I know everybody loves theme park churros. I'm not so convinced, but we'll see how good these are. Huge fried dough and cinnamon. The sugar. It's not really complicated. It's actually pretty good. One thing about vegan food is making sure it doesn't taste like you're missing something. It doesn't taste like I'm missing anything. Just based on that, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five pods. It's a little on the dry side. If it wasn't so dry, it might get a five. Let's try it with the coconut sauce first. That's a lot better. That is worthy of the five out of five claws. I'm not putting it on the bare necessities list though. Get angry at me in the comments. As for this Hershey's chocolate sauce, which is literally them taking a tub of Hershey's and dumping it into a container, because they sat there and watched them do it. So the princess's take on it just being plain Hershey's is accurate at best. You love chocolate? You love that. Hershey's isn't top tier chocolate, but it'll get you through. Doing it four and a half out of five plots overall. It's churro and messy. So we had the Brussels frites last year and they were basically the same, but with the sauces. So here we go, it's just a regular fry. I'm gonna do this sauce first. Let's go. Cheers. It's all right. It's pretty delish. It's almost like a Thousand Island, but with like a little bit more of an oniony taste. I'd be like a four out of five frites. And then we got this mustard sauce. Like a curried mustard. It's also really flavorful and good. I mean, that of four out of five mustards. Overall, I think this is an elevated fry like platter, and I would give it a four out of five. Freaks. It's very good. Every year they get me with this because I see Brussels frites, and I'm thinking actual Brussels, as in sprouts, in fry form. But really, it's Brussels, the city frites. They're just fries, fries and dippings, which kind of hurts my heart. The nice stick baked frito. They passed the fry test. Let's go ahead and dip them away. It's got a flavor to it. Bro, the fry works. Hope them something more. Some herbs. Something more on the fries. More than just a, a fry basket. Though, still looks better and operates better than Epcot's fry basket. So, three out of five plus. Yeah, that was shade. That's for the mustard dipping. It does look like it's got some stuff in it. It does smell curried. Well, that's more along the lines of what I was expecting. Full of the herbs, nice little kick. Curry, but not spicy. That's definitely superior mustard, or superior dipping, should I say. Mm. Four to five plus. That's definitely the way to go. Let's go ahead and skip this mayo nonsense. Go right for the curry mustard. This is a fried green tomato po' boy. Thank you, Shelby, for checking. Even though it's marked vegetarian, it is actually vegan. 
um, as is. You don't have to do anything to it. So I'll take this little stick out. Cheers. Ooh. It's very warm, which is not what I expected. It's really flavorful. The breading is really tasty. The pickle goes really well with it. And then all of the sauce. I'm here for this. This is like one of my favorites now, I think. I'm gonna give it a 4.75 out of five. I kind of wish it, were, it was sliders instead, so it'd be easier to eat, but I'm here for this. Nice portable. I'm happy it's vegan, even though we are making a considered effort this year, at least I am, to try more of the vegetarian food. So look out for that in our Bear Eats video. But this, this is actually like a, I would say a balanced size sub, not like the, the mushroom filly we had for Halloween Horror Nights. This is actually something I feel like I can eat and not hurt me. That vegan ramen lot is delicious. I need the recipe for that, but I've yet to perfect making that at home. But do yourself a favor and ask for a side of that and just dip this thing in here. I can see why the princess loves it so much. It's probably the best thing I've had so far. We still have a ton more food to go. I mean, this is four out of five plus. I want another one of these. We should have got two. is a big piece of hot dough with all the syrup and sugar. I was gonna bite into it, but I think I'm gonna use my fingers. Eh. Okay, this is a bad idea. I'm just taking a small, small piece, dipping it in the sauce. There you go, a nice sauce dipped piece of bread. Mmm, mmm. Sugary maple syrup is the ish. This is good and filling. I don't know why it's so big, but I'm here for it. I'm giving this a four out of five breads. It gives good bread. So far, this has been a festival of sticky fingers. Everything is messy, and everything is drippy. I'm not really sure what I was expecting with that, but it wasn't that. It's very like fried dough-ish on the outside, as you would expect, it's like a donut outside, but inside it's like baguette density, so it's like donut covered bread rather than just fried dough, if that makes any sense. I don't hate it, I just wasn't expecting it. Uh, it's a huge portion for a snack size. I expect this portion size to shrink as it goes on, but if you're coming this first week or two, I say jump on it. It's not bad at all. Three and a half out of five plus. Rice pudding from Indonesia with mango on it, so Bear can't have any. And I'm pretty sure these are like huge pieces of coconut flakes, which I hate a lot. All right, let's just get some of this purple pudding. It tastes like a sweet, cold oatmeal. And I actually kind of like it. I like it more than I thought I would, but only because I didn't eat any of the coconut. Get a full bite for the people. I'm not doing it with the coconut. Get a full bite for the people. I'll have it with the mango. A little bit of the coconut. I'm not doing the coconut. This is your job with the I will literally spit it out. I'm not doing it. It's better with the mango. Still pretty good. It's cold, like I said, which is great when it's warm out and the sun's out. It's like a nice, like refreshing palate cleanser for your trip around the eating around the world. Um, is this eating around the world now? Is this, this is eating, eating around the world. the world. This is festival Mardi Gras. All right. Um, four out of five sticky rices. This is actually a lot better than I 
expected it to be. So we have this beautiful chickpea option with like, it's kind of like a pancake underneath. Almost reminds me of like injera, but not. This is probably one that you'd want to eat with your hands traditionally. No sauce first. The bread is really nice. The chickpeas are spicy. I would say it's like maybe a five or six on the heat scale. Out of 10, it's not bad. I just, I don't know. It's just spicy. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, the heat kind of overpowers the rest of the flavorings, which is unfortunate, but this bread, this bread is fire. Overall, or actually, let me try it with the sauce, my bad. Maybe that'll cut down some of this heat. Eat. This banana leaf here. It's so pretty. All right, dip. Oh no! Oh my goodness. I'm making the worst mess. All right, here we go. It does kind of tame down the spice a little bit. It kind of makes it like a four or like a three out of 10 on the heat scale. But still like feeling the heat at the back end is just rising. I'm not gonna change my rating with the sauce. It's basically the same thing. I'm just here for the bread. I want like four pieces of this bread and just eat that. It's so good. Dessert is some fried dough with some tamarind sauce. I love all these different fried doughs that we have around the world. It's like funnel cake if it wasn't sweet. I kind of like it. It's a vibe, but it's burnt a little bit. And it's just straight like, it's just pieces of fried fryer, which I'm not mad at. It's just really greasy, which is why I don't get funnel cake. Well, and it's not vegan usually, but if it was vegan, I also probably wouldn't get funnel cake because it's greasy. Um, three out of five. Funnel cakes. I don't know why I'm calling it a funnel cake now. It's Trinidad and Tobago. It's rude, but it's funnel cake. I like the tamarind sauce. The tamarind sauce is really good. I'll give that one a four out of five sauces. I would really go so far as to say there doesn't exist anything that tamarind doesn't make better. Or if there is, I have not yet encountered it. This is like. The shell of dough, the powdered sugar. And give it a, give it a dippy. I like the dripping things this festival. But like I said everything this festival is sticky and messy, all of it. I absolutely love the tamarind sauce. I think I can understand the princess connection to funnel cake. It's a similar like, construction, but I think I like this better. My issue with funnel cake, and the reason why you never see me order funnel cake, Epcot ever, is if it's too sweet. And things that are too sweet, outside of like some hard candies are too much for me. You like sweet dough, and then powdered sugar. Like when it's beignet form, it's bite-sized. 
I can handle that, but like an entire funnel cake is too much. This is just enough sweetness with just a powdered sugar and the tamarind. It's a nice mix. I'm gonna give it a solid three and a half out of five plus. It could be maybe cook it a little bit more light, maybe a change the oil or something because it is a bit overcooked in spots, but if you get like a good bite, like one of the like lighter parts, a little bit like softer and not so Kentucky Fried Chicken extra crispy, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I would say give it a shot. Beautiful rice cauliflower here. It's got black eyed peas in it. It's warm, it looks pretty. There's so much stuff and goodness. I'm excited to try this. This looks really flavorful. Mm. I love the use of pepper. It's really good. I really like the, the black eyed peas. They add like some additional texture to it that I really like. I like how the cauliflower is done. It's not too, it's not like mushy. It's rice really well. And it's like a two out of 10 on the heat scale. So it's good for everyone. I think this is a really good entry for Mardi Gras. I'll, I'll give it a 3.75 out of five cauliflowers. It's good, but there's room for improvement. I take issue with the name. It's not cauliflower dirty rice, it's cauliflower dirty rice. Dirty rice. Nice bits in here, you got the ridiculous helping of green onions. It's not that ridiculous, there's a lot. You got the red peppers in here, you got some green peppers, black eyed peas, and cauliflower rice looks like cauliflower rice. Really should eat cauliflower rice at home more. It's probably a bit healthier than eating as much rice as we have been eating most of our lives. Ooh. Okay. I had some doubts. But the cauliflower's ability to sort of like soak in the flavor. Because the cauliflower will take in flavor, but it's like it's really dependent on how you cook it. It's like that verge of like if you cook it too much, it's gonna be a soggy mess and it's not gonna be rice. If you don't cook it enough, it's gonna be tough and they won't get any flavor in it. This is a nice execution of this considering that it's like outside of the booth they're doing really well peppers onions black eyed peas all in balance this is worthy the dirt to direct name give it up it's all four to five plus i have no cajun in my bloodline at all but i approve So we came and we stuffed your princess and me with plants. I did skip the um, twisted tater because they have the twisted tater all of the time. There's no reason to keep getting twisted tater over and over and over again. But it is here if you want it, ghost pepper or salt, seasoned salt, we it's do, vegan. We do have to give props to Universal for putting the vegan symbol on drinks this year. You'll see those drinks Seven. in our drink video. Uh, but. We want to see more of that. Next step is the cocktails. And yeah. Disney, you need to follow suit because Universal is really making you look bad with all this actual applicable food labeling. I would say that my favorite dish was probably the cauliflower dirty rice and my favorite dessert was the vegan churros. I would have to say that the, I'm torn between the Puerto Rican masa and the cauliflower dirty also rice. Good. But if we don't know what was your favorite thing to be showed you thus far. What are you planning to eat? When you make your next trip here to Universal, hopefully you make Mardi Gras, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything you think we missed or anything you should come back and try again, by all means, the comments is always the only place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And if you don't comment, Bear's going to eat himself into the water. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to him after that. I'm not going to go get him. If you don't complete, then I got to eat. But you heard the girl.
around the balcony and I feel like the bride from Halloween Horror Nights just being like... No bride for you. Ah. I wish I was, I'm not as cool as the bride. I know, I'm not as cool as the monster either. I am no creature of Frankenstein, nor am I as cool, nor will I ever be as cool, but I can pretend to be in this fog. It's not that foggy.